At the heart of Beijing is its history, the centuries-old vestiges of Chinese rule. But the run-up to the Olympics is leaving a new mark on this world capital. Towers of metal, concrete and glass bend into shapes that challenge the rules of structural engineering. This is the shape of uh, urban China and perhaps models for other places in the years to come. But in Beijing, progress has come at a profound cost. In a rush to build bigger and better, authorities have turned a blind eye to the wholesale leveling of some of the city's most historically significant neighborhoods, called hutongs. Li Dieng's home was slated for demolition weeks before the start of the summer games. She says the demolition work in her neighborhood has polluted the water, making her child sick. The government is offering to pay 170,000 U.S. dollars as compensation, which Dieng says is not enough to buy another home near the area. The Associated Press obtained this video showing a man being evicted from his home in 2006. Outside observers estimate some 1.5 million people have been removed from their homes to make way for development spurred by the games. For their part, Chinese government officials insist the evictions are done in a fair and orderly fashion. <laughs> Wang Yuwei of the Beijing Cultural Heritage Protection Department says the government provides funds and helps Hutong residents improve their living conditions. But Emory University professor Mary Brown Bullock says when it comes to the historically significant Hutongs, most of the damage is already done. The character of Beijing these lanes, the narrow lanes in the courtyard life, is almost gone forever. Residents we talk to insist the government is stepping up their tactics, evicting with even more force as the start of the summer games draws near. Jason Bronis, The Associated Press, Beijing.